Alright, so if you haven't seen the new Pokemon news trailer, then you are missing out on a lot. I think this might be one of the biggest news dumps so far, and a lot of crazy things were revealed. But I think one of the biggest reveals was the addition of the Alola-formed Pokemon. These are basically Pokemon that have undergone some sort of change, almost like Darwinism. Most of them reacting to the new climate of the Alola region. But the question I want to tackle today is one that's probably crossed your mind one, two, three, or maybe four times. Why is Executor a dragon type? So Alolan Forms took everyone by storm and came out of the blue, right? Well, not so much. It was actually hinted at in some Generation 1 TCG art for Executor. Vulpix and Sancho kind of came out of nowhere though, but this video is not about them, so they don't matter. Sorry guys, maybe next time. But back to the Executor and its foreshadowing. So as I mentioned earlier, Alola Executor has been in the works for years now. They first showed that long neck on the Japanese booster box of the TCG jungle set in 1999, which is crazy because I was like one then. I probably would have spent more time eating the cards than actually studying the box for mysterious appearances. The foreshadowing didn't stop there, however. In Ruby and Sapphire, its dex entry states, Executor originally came from the tropics. Its head steadily grows larger from exposure to strong sunlight. It is said that when the head falls off, they group together to form Execute. And in Emerald, originally from the tropics, Executor's heads grow larger from exposure to strong sunlight. It is said that when the heads fall, they group to form an Execute. Basically, these dex entries hinted at Executor A, originally coming from the tropics, which the Alola region is, and B, the more sunlight it is exposed to, the longer its neck grows. Also, on the official Pokemon website, it states that this is the true form of Executor. So when Executor was imported to Kanto, due to the lack of sunlight, its head began to shrink, thus losing its large head, tail, and most importantly, its dragon typing. So now, after learning all of this, it begs the question, why is it a grass dragon? Dragons aren't always depicted as fire-breathing monsters, and even those same fire-breathing monsters miss out on being a dragon type. Charizard, I'm looking at you, bud. Fans and people all over the world have had no problem voicing their thoughts on how this giant derp managed to snag the dragon typing. From people speculating it's because of the fruit it bears being the dragon fruit, to Taurus thinking palm trees kinda look like dragons. Well. After extensive research and getting set in loops for hours, I've come to the conclusion that the real reason this thing is a dragon type, drum roll please, is because it is rumored that it draws its typing from the Dracaena plant species, which translates to female dragon. If this is the case and it does in fact draw its typing solely from the origin, then a grass dragon would be fitting. More specifically, the Madagascar Dragon Tree. While yes, Hawaii is very far from Madagascar, this wouldn't be the first Pokemon to have origins in another part of the world. Oricorio is supported by Darwin's Finch's experiment. And where were these experiments done? On the Galapagos Islands. And where is that? I don't know, but there should be a map on screen pointing it out right now. I now realize that editing this in post, I could have totally BS this, but I like to keep it real. So, if this were to be the first form of Executor, then the original Executor we were introduced to in Generation 1 may just be a mutation. After the loss of sunlight it needed to maintain its dragon form was lost, it slowly began to shrink and had to adapt to survive in the new climates it was introduced to. That's gonna go ahead and end off the video for today guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you didn't, then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more Pokemon content, and maybe share this video with a friend. Let me know what you think about Executor's makeover down in the comment section below. Personally, I think he's derpy as all get out and I love it. Anyways, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm out. Peace.